Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast as we go through our top 10 bowlers in Australia of all time. We're going to have a massive debate here. We don't know each other's list between uh, Stats Guy, myself, Leo and Marcus. Are we ready, lads? Ooh, we're ready. Should we get right Let's into get it? Let's get into oh, it. We should get right into I'm it. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I'm scared. What's up? They're someone nervous, will cry no by the end calm. of the show. No one's calm. No. I hope someone does cry, but I yeah. hope it's not me. Uh, who, who? Three, two, one, point two. Who thinks going to cry? Three, two, one. <laughs> you can't even listen to an instruction. <laughs> you can't even listen to an instruction. No, there's nothing wrong with a good cry. Uh, all right, let's get into it. We'll yeah. start with number 10. The okay. number, the 10th best bowler in Australian cricket history. <laughs> Leo starts because he's so nervous. I'm a bit oh. nervous on this one. Um, so am I. Josh Hazelwood. Oh. oh. Are you guys okay with that one? Yeah. <laughs> I've got him in at 10. Yeah. Uh, 273 test wickets, which is the ninth most in tests for yep. Australia. 2.78 economy, 12 fifers. And I just think uh, we're going to talk about him later in the list. I don't want to spoil it, but Glenn McGrath, he's very similar to that type of bowler. Mm -hmm. He creates a lot of bounce off, off wickets, probably more so than Glenn McGrath, but he was just so consistent. And one thing I like about him as well is he's adapted. We always thought he was a test bowler, yep. but he's he's developed the Yorker. He's developed, developed this slower ball and he's now an ODI and T20 bowler. So I think credit for that as well. Yep. Oh, I'm just going to say mine because that was the same as mine. That's why I like oh, yours. Yeah. And number 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. I thought I was I so had nervous. Else, but I changed because I like okay. you. I was so okay. nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're all yeah. going Josh Hazel. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, nice. How yeah. the hell did we do that? You summed that, that up perfectly. Guys, well. can we? Can we? Do it. Can we get 10 for Can 10? We? All right. Well, that'd be a pretty boring video and that's not going to happen. It's going to be funny. Though. That's not going to happen. So we're all going Josh yeah. Hazelwood. I think, as you just said, Leo summed it up really well. He doesn't get enough credit as he deserves. I think in all formats. Yeah. yeah. Because he was really good in T20, even just uh, franchise he, he cricket. He developed and like that. it. Like, yeah. he, there was a stage where T you were like Josh Hazelwood, a T20 bowler. Like, yeah. no, that's and not really going to happen. Well. He, and he got the most wickets in IPL season. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. We're going that at 10. All right. All right. Yeah. I don't uh, want to start next. We'll go every, we'll go different one for okay, nine. Okay, so okay. nine, we're going, we'll start with Marcus. Okay. Number nine, oldie but goodie. Probably didn't get as many wickets Ooh. as other players on this list. I'm going to go Jeff Thompson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't obviously, mind that. He might come he in later. He scared so many great legendary batsmen. Yep. Uh, batsmen. He obviously bowled uh, during the time when the West Indies were the powerhouse of cricket. Yep. And and you'd, you'd up, he'd, you'd put him up there with uh, pace, in terms of pace, with the likes of Curtly Ambrose and, and the like. So... He was just so scary, jeweled with Dennis Lilly, who might feature higher up in these lists. Yep. Um, I thought, again, he was just one of those players that you did not want to face if you were a batsman. Yep, I, I like that call. Yeah, I think that might feature later. My number nine, probably very harsh to be nice, but I will. Mitchell Stark. Okay. I'm going, oh, I'm not even, I thought it might get a bit I of clapback there. Yeah. I, th I thought it would be more mellow. Yeah. yeah, I thought yeah. it would get a bit of clapback. Uh, just nine, I, I think he could be a little bit higher, but probably a little bit stiff. He's so good in all formats. Yep. I think he's yep. underrated. Uh, obviously got a... Uh, Fired up from uh, Shane Warne's comment all those years ago. And then that, I think, fired him up to be an even better bowler. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely not as intimidating as the likes of Jeff Thompson, which might feature later for me. But just been so good in all three formats. Just an awesome average under 25. So many wickets in all three formats. So, yeah, go Starkey. Number nine. Yeah, Where do yeah. you go on there? Number nine. Marcus, look into my eyes. <laughs> what? Here we go. I have Jeff Thompson at nine. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, you guys just copying each other. Go on. We're not copying anything. Oh, you're copying each other. Uh, 200 test wickets. You already touched on his partnership with uh, Dennis Lilly. Yeah. He's yeah. just one of the most deadly partnerships ever in bowling um, history. Yeah. Mm. I believe it was six for 46 in an Ashes series as well that really put him on the map as well. So mm -hmm. Jeff Thompson at nine. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're, what are you up to now? Eight. Well, Here we go. No, eight is after nine. Yeah. yeah that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. No, it's before, but anyway. Uh, I'm going number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Jeff Thompson. I know where okay, he was my okay, next one. So we're pretty close. Lads, we're cooking. Because I, I was going to put him higher again, but I really like the fear factor. I think that's a big thing in fast bowls, especially it's back in the day. Too. Imagine having to face Jeff Thompson without a helmet. Mm. Like, yeah, that's oh, crazy. They were just, the, what was it? The uh, helmet was invented 80 years after the box. How much? Which tells you a lot about money, how guys think about it. How much money <laughs> would you have to pay to face Jeff Thompson without a helmet? Well, nowadays, he's pretty. He's probably in his 80s. No, so but I'd like face, back in the day. Like back in the day. No, no chance. I don't think I would face no, him without a helmet. You be could a die. You could die. be a price. Oh, I don't know. Like don't, a million is not enough. Like, I, I don't know if I would. No, you'd do it for a Is minute. he allowed to bowl bouncers? Yes. Oh, no, I'm good. 100, 100K. 100K. Yeah, I'll do it for 100K. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I'd do it for 50K to be real. Oh. Maybe we should get the fastest is, bowler in the world. We know Leo's an easy man then. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> on the streets, what? Uh, all right. The so streets. yeah, I'm going just off number eight. Oh, uh, we'll go later next. We'll keep going around in a circle. <laughs> Number true. eight, I've gone with Pat Cummins. Wow. That's wow. That seems, low. that seems low, yeah. That's very yeah. low. Is it very low? 
yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you got yeah. Really there. Yeah, what are you doing, mate? So number ten, your list is washed. Thanks, yeah, mate. Okay. Go on. okay, geez. Um, yeah, so he's number 10 in test wickets. Yep. Best bowling of six for 23, 22 average, 2.88 economy. I don't know. I just think he's obviously delivered us some Jaffers, peaches of delivery. Is that a term? Yeah, that'll do. It is yeah, now. Peach, peaches of delivery. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I just think as an overall bowler, like you think about some of the Ashes innings, where he obviously has delivered in big moments. Yep. Don't get me wrong, but if we're wrapping up a tail, you know, like I agree. Yeah. It's frustrating sometimes watching him, especially as a he's not in the right area. Going fair, is short, short, short when you got a ball at the stumps, Pat. Is that his fault though, or is he being told to do that? I think it's a combination. He's the captain, so I think he. Yeah. I think out in the field, he needs to use his brain and realize, hey. <laughs> Maybe if we bowl at the stumps, yeah. we're eventually going to miss one. They're not good at batting. Yeah, yeah. No, and I, I, agree. I, I love Cummins. As I say, he's the, one of the best bowlers of all time. Yep. But if there's one knock on him, I don't think he bowls that much at the stumps. Yep. And enough. when he bowls at the stumps, he's very successful. If he was a bit more consistent on yeah. that area, you'd have him in your top five, probably. Or maybe, maybe. Well, he would have more wickets, I'd okay. say. And that's yeah. probably just due to bowling to the tail. It's very, very harsh on him. Yep. But I'll, mm. I'll have him at eight. Yep. All right. Uh, eight for you. I've got someone different to both of you guys as Ooh. well. Uh, one of my personal favorite bowlers of all time. We talked about him before the show. Yep. Craig McDermott. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I might not even have him. But Again, he was yeah. very similar to the likes of Josh Hazelwood. Yeah, so McGrath just hit the spot. Hit the spot. Same spot every ball, um, and it got him wickets. He, he ended up with 291 Test wickets from 124 innings. You put that into perspective. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Pat Cummins has played eight less games and still has almost. 20, 25 more, uh, less wickets. Than less wickets yeah, yeah, he should fair. be lower on your list, Pat Cummins. Like he should be nine or 10. No, but I think because Pat Cummins has still got a, Great captain. a lot of career left to play and he will definitely yeah. move up there. He's yeah. a captain as well. So. Is he the best ever redhead, Craig McDermott? He was redhead, wasn't uh, he? Yeah. He's, he's probably the best though. No, I mean for Australia. <laughs> he's probably the best definitely redhead for Australia, Australia Craig Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, because I can't even think that. Andrew McDonald. Uh, Ronald, they used to nah, have I think McDermott. he's definitely ahead of McDermott him. McDermott ahead of him. McDermott ahead of him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. I'll go, I'll go Craig McDermott. Best figures of eight for 97. Jeez. Unreal. Eight, not eight not eight many not awesome. many players on this list. Yeah, most of them are best of like six. Or oh, there's, six there's one coming up. Oh. I think we all have him. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. yeah, we'll have him later. All right, uh, number seven, Pat Cummins for me. I okay. wasn't that far okay. off Leo. Okay. I agree. I think if he didn't get injured a lot at the start of his career, he would have had a lot more wickets. So that's one thing you didn't mention. Just that I think he would be right up there in the wickets if if he just, yeah. Because he, he changed his whole bowling technique. He changed everything. He was just trying to get through his uh, overs now a little bit more. Took away his pace a bit. Became more accurate. So he has to be up there. I think he's an amazing captain. Just settles the players. I think that's coming into me, coming in, uh, into mind for me here in this, uh, yeah. in this list because he's just a really good captain yeah. as well. And he's been really strong in ODIs and tests. 2020 is probably not his strongest yeah, suit, but no. I think ODIs I still rate above. Uh, T20, yeah, which, sure, which everyone sure. does in cricket. So, mm. Pat Cummins for me, yeah. yeah seven. Moto interessante. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, seven? Seven, Mitch Stark. Seven. Okay, we're all yes. pretty similar. So, I've actually got him. Yes, Leo! Yes! yes. <laughs> we're in sync <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I just think I've got him above Cummins and Hazelwood. Stark? I that's controversial. I don't know about that. We yeah. give him a mm. lot of crap. But let's just, let's analyze Well, him. we don't, but. Uh, yeah, like a lot of Australian people do, public yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just analyze him for sure. a second. Sure, why not? Yeah. 358 test wickets, yep. which is number four out of Australian mm -hmm. bowlers. Yep. And the thing for me is he always delivered in big tournaments. You'd always see like, oh, crap, Stark's bowled five wides again in like a fourth innings t like test yeah. against the West Indies. And people would something. highlight that. And you'd yeah. highlight. But yeah, like yeah. Mm. first ball in the ashes to Rory Burns. How good a moment. Yeah, was, that was like, there. Yeah. The ball to McCullum. He brings yeah, moments. The, yeah, the ball to Stokes in the 2019 World Cup. Yes. yes. The Yorker. Like his Yorker was deadly. And he just, every sort of big moment and memory wise, like he was the man. Mm. And he's just, I guess his flexibility in every um, format as well. Yep. Like yep. could do a test, ODI, T20s. No problem. He's also 100%. the best uh, power couple in cricket. Does that, does that yeah. put him up there, yeah. I reckon? Him and yeah. Alyssa Healy are like two of the best Australian men's and women's players I wonder ever. What, um, mm. Matt, that is the best I want to get Alyssa around. Healy's thoughts on like what it's like keeping to Stark because she would have she done would, it. Yeah, it yeah. would a lot. And yeah. even batting. To, yeah. like, that well, would she learned off the best. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah, she learned off yeah. Ian Healy, yeah. That, mm. like, that's another one we're going to do in the future, maybe, that you wanted to do. Possibly. Wicked keepers. Wicked keepers. Oh, Wicked keepers. Best power couples. We could do best power couples. They've got to be up there, Stark and Healy. 
Yeah, they got Steely, a, what they call the Steely Cup when they play golf every year, apparently. Oh, Steely, there, you yeah. there you go. Yeah, the, the big more golf you know. players, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, that was a bit sidetracked. Uh, what have you got? Yeah, the, I'll, what about I'll go Stark as well. Yeah. Yeah, Stark as well, you said. I'll go Stark as well. You two have copied three already. I know the reason I got him lower compared to how many wickets he's taken for Australia, test wickets. Obviously, Leo mentioned he's number four, 358. Mm -hmm. He has taken considerably a lot more innings and matches to do it in. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Like he just over played a lot of matches. Yeah. yeah. He just over overtook DK. Yep. Um, in and it took him like eighteen more matches and mm. almost forty more innings, okay. which is which is a lot that of is a lot. Yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. thing a lot is though, like that's a fair point, but I think it's also a testament to how durable he's been for someone who yeah. bowls so fast and can hit one fifty. Him and Cummins, I think, yeah. that like should come in. Well, even Cummins has had like. Injury at the start of his yeah, year. Stark really has, yeah. Stark's been very like healthy throughout, mm -hmm. which is a big testament to him. Yeah, yeah you, you make a fair point. Yes, no, no, no. I'm not slanding him by any means. Like yep. he's still yeah, very yeah. impressive. Yeah, if it was in your top ten. Yeah, to, yeah, so yeah, to be in this list at the very least. Yeah, so. it's a very prestigious list on cricket today. Yeah. Oh, we're doing geez. well here, lads. All right, okay. all right. We need some arguments. We're getting closer to the top uh, five. Number six. Six. Uh, That's wrong. Oh, sorry. I haven't even said it yet. You Mitchell guys, Johnson. Mitchell Johnson. He's not cracking my top five. He's you not cracking my top me. five. You guys are going to hate me. I you don't like you have him in your list? I don't have Mitchell Johnson oh on the list. Oh, my. Get out of town, mate. Yeah. The best Marcus, mustache. We were doing so well. Arguably the best musta mustache uh, Australian that's cricket has ever had. Bowling. That has to do. Mate, it is the intimidation factor. As soon as he had that handlebar mustache, Stuart Broad. Oh, I can't, I can't face him. They, they, <laughs> the English players couldn't face him. That is the best. <laughs> that Ashes series where he's bowling it off, off the crack yeah, yeah, was yeah. the best uh, matches I've been to personally. I'm seeing a fast bowler because I obviously didn't see some players that we're going to talk mm. about later. Um, so yeah, Mitchell Johnson, just an absolute beast. Got a lot more wickets than I thought. In in terms of all-time wickets for Australia in all formats, he is uh, fifth, which really, really surprised me because I thought he would be a lot lower than that. Uh, yep. 590 wickets, uh, average of 26, eight for 61 is his best bowling. Awesome effort. So yeah, he has to be in everyone's top 10. I can't believe yeah. he doesn't That's have wild. What are you I doing? I had him at 10 I swapped him for Hazelwood. Okay. okay. Far out. Ooh, he was yeah. a beast. The best left armor we've had as well, which yeah, is an easy one because there hasn't, yeah. all the best players yeah. have been... He's better than Stark. So it's Wait, Stark hang on, him. hang on. Best left armor we've ever had, and he's put Stark above him in the yeah. list. Oh, yeah. How does that make sense? <laughs> True, but it, it, if I'm just looking at stats and longevity, it, look, to be fair, Mitchell Johnson, I didn't realize he How played, many matches he played, yeah. He played 73 mm. tests across eight years. A lot of these if, players yeah. have played for 10, 12 plus years. Mm. He only played uh, eight years, yeah. 70 matches. I just want to point out, I just caught him, caught him out. I know, yeah. he's literally said We've got left, best left arm on the list. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Leo. You're a disgrace. <laughs> You're not on the list for me. That's all right. We needed some beef, finally. Beef. Sixth. Leo. Number six, Binger. Binger. Brett Lee. <laughs> like like Binger Lee. That's too Binger low, Lee. mate. That is low. That's not low, that, mate. That's just calm. Mate, when you, <laughs> if you go anywhere in the world and you go, who is Australia's yeah, best basketball of all time? He's on Bollywood films. Because he's a beautiful man as well. Yeah, yeah maybe he's that's a beautiful why. man. Uh, six, six is way too six. low. He has to be in your top five, sure. Well, he's not. Okay. Why? So, 310 test wickets, which is number seven of all time. 380 ODI wickets, which is equal first. Yep. I, I, this is the one where I said pre-show that it's like the one above has just got a personal placing and it's probably more like a um, anecdotal, is that a word? Yeah. Thing. Yeah, that's a good word. That's why Brett Lee's not in my top five. Okay. Because he is very stiff to miss out. He was an exceptional bowler um, throughout those formats. He'll be watching this and he's going to get into Lee. He's not going to be yeah. watching this, yeah. mate. <laughs> he watches this um, high. So he has to be in everyone's top five, I think, but sixth. So well, he's just. The fifth is, I'll say why fifth. person. Fifth okay, is, when we get to fifth, uh, sixth. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. Here we go. We already do. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's one of three players to take over 500 test wickets for Australia. Well, that seems not very DK, low. Not DK. Nathan Lyon. Nathan Lyon. No, no that's okay. No, I had him at six. six. I chopped and changed for six and fifth. What are we yeah. doing here, lads? No, I don't mind Who's that. I don't mind Who that. gave us microphones to speak? I don't know. I don't know. You guys, I was on the show and then you guys just <laughs> randomly jumped on. I think, I think a lot of people- I live downstairs. <laughs> a lot of people harp at, at spin ball, and particularly off spin and say, it's easy. Anyone can do it. Mate, but I was Nathan Lyon, It's pretty hard. But Nathan Lyon, <laughs> he just, he's so good at what he does. Yeah, you don't need to tell me, mate. He's so good. Mate. At like build, like building up a batsman and then and just getting in his mind and, and just he the gets way his, he, yeah the head yeah he yeah. bowls and yes yeah. it is great to watch and mm -hmm. you can always rely on Nathan Lyon um because <laughs> other than the Ashes really he was he's been relatively he's been fit awesome, throughout yeah. his whole career yeah mm -hmm. um obviously he started as a curator he was a curator playing unreal. a little bit for South Australia and then they go this guy's all right this the bald guy get him in the, get mm. him in the team yeah the only reason I have him below the likes of others who have 
considerably less wickets. Yeah. Is because as a spin bowler, you do bowl a lot more overs. Yeah. Yeah. He's played. Uh, he's played 120. Let's actually have matches. a look at that. I'll have, a, I'll, I'll have something to rebut. He's that. played five. He's he's bowled five thousand yeah, yeah. four hundred and sixty overs. That's a lot of overs. He's bowled way more than Stark, Johnson, uh, McDermott. And you look at the pace yeah. bowlers below. Like Mitchell yeah. Johnson's bowled two point six k. Brett Lee's two point seven thousand. Um, no, that's and, fair. And look, if you basically double that to make what Nathan Lyons overs bowled, Brett Lee overpasses him in terms of average. If but they, double yeah. his wickets. I was going to get into that, but they, they know their nickname is the goat. That's, True. That's another thing that I was going to say. True. All right, so we're going to fifth. Fifth. I might go. I might just. We're just going to keep going around in circles. Well, I think Marcus's turn now. All right, so Marcus, turn. you're up. Fifth. Patrick Cummins. Oh, I think that's yeah. a little too high. Just a little bit too high. Where did you have Cummins? It's seven. Uh, seven. Mm. Yeah. He's only he's only played sixty two matches. Just sixty two. Wait, tests. Sixty two test matches. Yeah. Okay. All right. And but he's two hundred and sixty nine wickets. Yep. You look at Nathan Lyon, for example, he's played 129 yeah. matches. Nah, fair enough. Um, and again, if you, injured, if you yeah. double that, yeah. And mm. I think just think the way Pat Cummins has sort of put the nation on his shoulders, especially in a difficult time. Yep. Whereas with the whole sandpaper gate and, and he had to be uh, brought Tim in. Tim Payne captain. needs some credit there. Well, he's not yeah. in the bowl. Yeah, no, Tim Payne but was Tim the Payne one. Tim Payne had his own controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he, he, well, that's a separate thing. We give, him, <laughs> we give him credit where it's due. I think Pat we, Cummins... Definitely being a good captain, but separate and he, to and the same. I think he's still got plenty in the tank. That comes yeah, for he's sure. He's 31, but he's still got like, another six years. He still looks... Oh, I think he was like, tennis, he looks like... um, uh, What's it called? Here we Clark go. Kent. He looked like Clark yeah, Kent. Yeah, a little bit. Superman yeah, vibes. Yeah, vibe. yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I don't think he, you're the first to say that. No. He, he ended up taking that, yeah. 350 uh, test wickets in his career, I believe. Yeah. Hopefully. So he's 31 now. He'll get to 400. No, how many How many more years has he got? Five more years? Six. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look at Jimmy Anderson. Jimmy Anderson played to his 40, didn't he? And he, yeah. needs about, he needs about 80 more test wickets to reach 350. I reckon, I reckon he gets 400. 400. Mm. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. uh, your fifth. Yeah. My fifth, the GOAT. If your name's the GOAT, you have to be in the top five of every conversation. Okay. He's the best off-spin bowler in Australian history by an absolute mile. What about in world that, history? Yeah. In world history, he actually doesn't chuck it. So uh, he's definitely better than Murali. But that's, that's, <laughs> what that, about, that's what about Ravi Ashwin? He's better than Ravi Ashwin. Uh, Ravi Ashwin is a home track bully. That's another That's another conversation. Yep. Get he, out of him. He is Get the, out of him. He's the best <laughs> off-spin bowler ever because you've got, yeah, Ashwin, for example, just can only go well at home. Spin friendly. Murali deck. literally chucked it every time and got told off for that. So I don't like how he's yeah, got Australia the most Australia isn't a spinning deck. Australia's not it's a spinning made deck. for pace bowlers. He's been so good at, at working on that overspin to get the bounce and things like that. How many wickets? Overall, he's got- uh, 530 five, in test. 560 uh, overall, but yeah, mainly a test player, obviously. I think still an underrated player in uh, Australian. Like the, the players literally call him the GOAT. So yeah. he has to be in my top five, uh, yep. Nathan Lyon. I think he should be in everyone's top five. And nice. Yeah. Mm. Mitchell Johnson. A fifth? A I don't fifth. mind that. I, so had him, I had him. This I had him is sixth. the one where I, I had <laughs> I feel him like that's above, a bit higher though. I had him above Brett Lee in the top oh, five. That's, wait, he still is. Because you already what? said Binger. Yeah. yeah like, I had it. him above Brett Lee. What are you yeah. doing, mate? So yeah, that's not on. That's yeah, just rude. On. Like oh, how make, many how many wheat bigs ads has Mitchell Johnson done? Yeah, because that's what we're talking Man, about. I love Wheat Bix. It's pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> remember how many? Didn't he say he used to do 20? Do you remember those ads of Brett Lee saying he used to do 20? Who cares about Wheat Bix? <laughs> I'm telling you about Wheat Bix. I swear Wee Mitchell Bix. Johnson's done Wheat Bix ads before. Oh, come on. Oh it's a funny, funny sidetrack. Sorry, go on. Mitchell Can Johnson. Yeah. Let me take you back. Okay. So a young 13 year old boy living in Seddon <laughs> named Leo. Oh. It's not me. Yeah. <laughs> Watching the TV, experiencing the wide world of sports. Yep. Theme tune. This is another by the way. You've got the English. The English. They come <laughs> down into Australia. Why does it sound drunk? <laughs> <laughs> they came down to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> On their boats. <laughs> they came via boats and we sent them back via boats. No, nah, um, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost you there. You're, you're on it. You're on Just it. watching Mitchell Johnson. Yeah, when you were younger. Yeah. When I was younger. No, I respect absolutely that. just strike fear he into a man's heart and just body. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, Mitchell. Uh, the body line, yeah. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Like, they, and it was, I don't think it's ever been clear enough to me that there were, there was a team that just didn't want to be there. I imagine they did not in, want yeah. to be in that position imagine facing him. being an international cricketer, cricketer and you didn't want to face yeah. someone. Like, like, you could just you know, tell. Like, the only person that's had that, that aura, you guys love that word, since, is Jofra Archer. When he no. took out Steve, Steve no, Smith, no, he, he, he has Joffre Archer to Mitchell Johnson. No, I'm saying in terms of that that scare factor. 
Yeah, sure. But uh, Mitchell Johnson's a hundred times yeah, better. Yeah, he knocked out Steve Smith. Didn't get Steve Smith out once. That's true. Yes, yes. Yeah, exact same thing. I didn't say this. Is, all right, relax. Keep going. Idiot. Well, Moises Enriquez, he wasn't listening to Spotify that day. He was watching Mitchell Johnson Ashes highlights. <laughs> That's what he was that doing. Was reference, was, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cricket fans will know. What That's probably about. what I was doing that night. <laughs> yeah, well. exactly. Yeah. That's just crazy. That's why I have him at fifth because it was yeah. like one of my like most prominent cricket Memory. memories. Yeah, it's just him oh, every that. innings just absolutely destroying these pommy CNX Tuesdays. Yeah. yeah. You know, like. <laughs> yep. What was the opening batter that was always horrible? With Carberry. The, Carberry, yeah. With the, and he had the that horrible helmet. Do you remember the bro- that shiny yeah. helmet? He wasn't horrible, yeah. but Johnson made him Matt, look horrible. his technique. And what about when he broke his bat? Oh, yeah, that's that right. Well, Mitchell memory. Johnson and Ryan Harris made Alistair oh, Cook look was, like a right Well, mark. that's – are we doing honourable mentions? Ryan Harris, if he played a lot longer, he was, he was an abs- honourable mention. He, he was an yeah. absolute freak. Him and yeah. Johnson together was such mm. a good opening. It was so cool. Yeah. Yep. Mm. All right, so that's uh, – what are we up to fifth? I've lost – Sounds like Central now. C there. All right. <laughs> Central C. I've never been called that before. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, four. You want to start us off? Yeah, sure. Brett Lee. <laughs> Brett Lee, he has to be yeah. – I think that's even too low. I probably I'm too also low. Not drunk. <laughs> so you got him even higher, dude. I've got him even higher, lads. He's even legend. I was saying, or oh, maybe is is not lucky to be this high, but like, I just think across all three formats, he had to be. He's third Best in the there. most. Yeah, seven hundred eighteen in all three formats. Absolute uh, freak. In wickets, obviously in tests, he took three hundred and ten. So just shy of Mitchell Johnson's three hundred thirteen. But mm-hmm. again, he was another one of those players where just pace, oh. pure pace, and yeah. and, it, and it wasn't. For Brett Lee, it wasn't really of an intimidation factor. He didn't just bowl short because he knew he was rapid. Mm. He was very accurate. Yeah, yeah. He's very same accurate. Charge he, he, bowled was oh. he had the fastest. I, th- I still think he'd be up there, the fastest uh, speed on a like kind of run it was in. Him, wasn't it? Yeah, well, oh, I'm guessing, I like, with in, the ball. Sorry. With the ball, he obviously yeah. got that. But I feel like even on that, uh, what do you call it? Run up. Yeah. Surely he's run up. He was just like sprinting, and that would be so intimidating. Yeah. Mm. Give us um, your best chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, the chainsaw. <laughs> Brett Lee, oh. chainsaw. He's getting up. <laughs> Brett Lee celebration, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, Very that was nice. good. I didn't think we were gonna get that. The Sydney Sixers. Brett, Brett Lee's here. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did it for Australia, not just the Sydney Sixers. Oh my god, Sydney Sixers legend. And he should have won that that final against his last ever match. Yeah. Was super over. Mm. They wouldn't have won it. True. All right, Brett Lee for you at four. Brett Lee for, for four. I'm going DK Dennis Lilly, the man with the chain, the man with the mustache, the headband, the long hair. Just epitomizes That's aura. that. That is or he that is, is he aura. is he the have the highest aura of any Australian cricketer of all time. I'd um, say he does. And he was a right knob as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he like he, he was a, yeah, he up there. He he epitomized Aussie cricket. Just another player that everyone was scared to face when they didn't have helmets. They would he would just bowl body line all the time. His Yorker was amazing. His accuracy. Everyone says, oh, he's fast and scary, but he was just such an accurate bowler. Mm. Really, just struck the fear into West Indies, who were the powerhouse at the yeah. time, as you mentioned before. So he has to go in there. And I think he started that sort of chain wearing fast bowlers, just looking cool. And yeah. they were like the rock and stars he, of cricket. And he sort of started that. So. He he took the mick a lot. Oh, he used to just get I remember, into players. I remember a batsman almost hit him with his bat. Yeah. Because he, yeah. he was just such a twin. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, actually, Google yeah. Google some uh, DK Lily highlights because oh, there's some yeah. wild things that happened back in the day oh, in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. yeah. So that's my fourth. Well, wait, 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 actually, quickly. Was he the one with the aluminium bat? He might have been actually. It got banned. It was DK, yeah. wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah. aluminium bat. They they had to cut it open and realize there was aluminium. Yeah. I had a mate that had an aluminium handle. Uh, that that was illegal. Oh. Uh, shout out to, to you. Um, no, that was not shout him out. I was joking. <laughs> I was gonna say shout out to him. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, fourth. Mine was DK Lily. Yours was Brett Lee. Leo, look at me. Look, I'm looking. It was DK Lily. Oh, on the we're on the let's same go, stats go. I like, that. I like that. Or a transfer. Well, from I'll, go him, I'll just I'll go him a three. So. Oh, okay. oh, we can roll straight into it then. You you can yeah. talk about him though, if you want. Uh, well, well, you basically pretty, touched on it. Yeah. 355 test wickets, yep. number five all time for Australia, seven for 83 best bowling, mm-hmm. 2.75 economy, and 23 fourfers and 23 fifers. Oh, that's not bad. That's really good, not actually. Not bad. I like that. Yeah, I'm telling So we'll now. roll into it three. Yeah, you've got him three. Okay, he, I think yeah. he has to be top four, top three. I don't mind that. If you have a look, search up Lily and Meandad. Uh, fight. Oh, that's pitch. right. Meander, yeah. yeah. Where he tries oh, we to had him back. in uh, that quiz last we week. We did. We yeah. did. And, and he did have the aluminium bat as well. And he was he was just a raw. I just remember when he took, he took the, I remember him vividly. I remember him taking. Oh, I was, was going to say it. like highlights, like, highlights, highlights but anyway, and, yeah. and movies because I, I got a DVD at home. It's like yep. great cricket, Australian cricket moments throughout history whatever. Yep. And Dennis, Dennis Lee taking a wicket on the final ball of a day's play. Oh yeah, and that's him right. Just running, yeah. Him just running off, and um, <laughs> he's ran off. Everyone yeah. on the everyone's 
jumping on the ground. Celebrating, and, yeah. Yeah, the pitch invasion. It was, yeah, he's... Actually, bring back the pitch. Icon. Icon. You know those old... You no. could sit on the you could sit on the boundary back sit on in the, the day boundary. and yeah, watch yeah. the cricket. You well, could bring your you own... Want, there wasn't even a boundary. Yeah, do you want to not have a MCG boundary? Fence. Do you just want to have the fence? Yeah, yeah bring back the fence. It was cool. You used to just be the MCG fence. That'd be awful. Then you could also yeah. bring your slabs of beer. They um, they, I remember those rides at the MCG for Boston Day Test because they... They stopped letting people bring in two eskies. You could only bring in one. <laughs> but people bring in like 20 beers. I wish we could do that now. Oh, I wish oh. we could do that. That'd be good. Save a lot of money. Mm. Uh, my three, Bingley. Lee. Brett Lee. We've already talked about him a lot. but Give us your chainsaw. Oh, I'm going to get up. Here I'm we go. Yeah, oh. do whatever you want, mate. All right, let's go. Let's go. Just, just let's go. Oh, 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 come come on. On. That was the sound effect. I was rubbing it up. I was going to rub it up. That was a bad joke. What the hell was that? Sorry, Bradley. You, you just, just gave like off. a thousand people the ick. I know. Yeah, you just got negative aura. I already gave, aura. I already gave <laughs> that. <negative laughs> aura. Shut up with your aura. Wait, he wins that the, uh, beige, he wins the chainsaw. No, I, I'm, not an, I'm not a chainsaw kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put that on I should have put the chair further back. That was bad. <laughs> oh, they're rattled. Uh, Brett Lee, number three. He has to be up there. I think that's yeah. a joke that you haven't put him in your top three, especially you, Leo. You know, you put him lower joke? than. Would you have him? He had seven? Mitchell Stark and Mitchell I Johnson. I had Brett Lee number two. What are you talking no, about? No, he didn't. <laughs> Where'd I mean, you have him? Six. Mate, he, okay. if you think of Australian fast bowler, anyone in the world, first I thing I would say is Brett Lee. I told you why. Johnson above him, though. I told you why. If you go across the world, no one's saying Mitchell Johnson. Everyone's saying Brett Lee. This is my list. And it's anecdotal. Don't forget, I'm not getting personal. I'm just talking. I wasn't getting personal <laughs> either. <laughs> Sounds like. All right, Brett Lee, three. Leo, uh, what's your The GOAT. Who? Nathan Lyon. Nathan oh, Lyon. that's a bit high. That's did you, a bit did high. my guy just say who? Well, I thought you already had Nathan Lyon, but you uh, haven't. Yet. That's too high. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not. Shut up. What's your <laughs> reasoning? What's your reasoning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good point. Yeah. yeah. 500, yeah. 530 test wickets. Number three. Yep. yep. Eight for 50 best bowling. Yep. yep. 2.93 economy. Under three economy for an off spinner. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. 24 fourfers, 24 fifers. So that's one more each than DK. Is that crazy? It's pretty crazy. Economy under three? <laughs> yeah, you guys haven't got 24 for fifers. For economy a, for spin balls? Absolutely. That's what it they're is. brought on to do, though. They're brought in on Australia. To, no, no, though. 2.9. That's nuts. I Name reckon. one other bowler, spin bowler, that's been successful in Australia. Shane Warne. Other than obviously <laughs> an Australian, the, like the yeah. best bowler like of all time, like an international bowler. Oh, like um, every time they come here, they get smacked. Yeah, no, I'll give you that. They I'll go for that. five mm. and over minimum. I'll give you that. There's no spin. Yeah. The fact that he's been so consistent. I'll give in, you that. On on a batting yeah. dominated. Like yeah, yeah. we're talking about roads here. We're not talking about <laughs> you know the bloody whatever they have in India. Yeah, the yeah, old, the, like the oh, spinning. We're gonna, decks, we're gonna yeah. roll it and put water in it and dry it we're out again. Yeah, just put our feet on it and muck it up and he's like, we're, not, we're, not talking, we're not talking about that we're talking about absolute like the highways of, of Great Melbourne I, no I agree Great. what am I saying I don't know what I'm saying I anymore. know what you're saying you're saying it's very easy conditions it's for so batting. easy for he batting he does have the best economy he has to be fair, a, any... an incredible economy he right. does yeah. Mate. we made an argument but still and, a joke that he's in your top and it's just crazy as well that like he doesn't really have variation like he doesn't really he's got Jeff what? you know Jeff you don't know he's Jeff Ball but he doesn't have like just, a the, he doesn't have a doujere. He doesn't have like a no, no. Like it's his bounce, it's his spin. Yeah, yeah. He's just consistent. He's probably the most I think consistent. He has to be top three. Just like Ooh, okay for a that's spinner wild. in Australia, a spinner in Australia. Mm. Like I think that's, that's crazy. wild that you put in top three. But it's a, it's a harder albums. achievement than oh, yeah. the ones that I've already. So you mentioned. Have I had him five. fifth. I think he has to be top five or six, but definitely not third. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, have you, have you done your three? No, you haven't. Yeah, I did. I had DK. Oh, DK. Yeah. Field. All right. Oh, so I'll start with number two, lads. I feel like our tops are yeah, the same yeah, because they're, gonna be the same. they're all yeah. going to, but it depends on the order. Should no, I? the order has to be the same. It has yeah, to it's be probably the same. The same all yeah. right. Should we just read out two and one or do it separately? Should we say number two at the same time? All right. Do you know how a countdown works this time? I do, mate. Right. Three, Three, two, one. Glenn, Glenn McGrath. McGrath. All right. Okay, there we go. Right. There we go. Good. All right. Glenn McGrath. Who wants to talk about it? No ops here. He's your favorite bowler of all time. So I'll let you I love Glenn McGrath. The pigeon? Yeah, because he's just, again, it's not the goat. I have just, to go to three, pigeon at two. What is this? What's, <laughs> what's warning? No. I'm telling you, you could put a five cent coin on the pitch and Glenn McGraw would well, hit it every single there time. There is a video of him doing that. Yeah, he yeah. is absolutely yeah. unreal. And it just shows that's all you need to do. No matter the, the tail opening bowlers, you just put it in that spot. You mm -hmm. get them scared. You don't know. They don't know whether to go forward or back. They get caught in between. Stick a bat, stick a bat out. And primarily all of his wickets were taken behind the stumps. Yeah. Um, in terms of catches, slips and wicket keeper, like he's just consistent getting edges yeah. and things like that. Absolutely unreal. 563 test wickets and and 948 in across all three formats. That's unbelievable. Um, he was just 
absolutely unreal. The the epitome of inconsistency. That inconsistency. Inconsistency. Consistency. Oh, Con- Con- consistency. <laughs> what do you say? Sorry, Pidge. Sorry, Pidge. Consistency. Con- <laughs> Con- Sorry, Con- Sorry, Pidge. Sorry, Sorry, Pidge. Pidge. I just found out why he's called Pidge. The definition of why? consistency. Steve War was, was looking at his legs when he first started and said, you've, you've stolen a pigeon's legs, McGrath. And then that's, <laughs> then he just got called Pigeon that. for the pigeon. rest of his career. So Probably got fined yeah. for that too. Well, yeah, can we talk about his legs? <laughs> The best bowling, 8 for 24. Yeah, I was going to say that. Uh, eight, what, what was the best bowling? 8 for 24. That's, That's crazy. unbelievable. What's your and best you, bowling? 5 for... Oh, I can beat that. <sighs> nah, no. Nah, 5 for 20 something. What's yours? 5 for 7. Oh, yes. Very, very good. 10. 3 for 10. What are you doing, mate? I'm not a bowler. Yeah, I know. <laughs> are you, you, I reckon you still got some years left in you. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 for, like, oh, a, being a bowler, oh, I'm like, saying. Just play being a bowler. Or yeah. Just like come in. Can we talk about his economy though? As a pace bowler, he's just taking everything for us to say. <laughs> he just oh, loves I love him. him. I love him. Go on. What's his economy? Two point four nine. That is nuts. That's in crazy. Test cricket, that is nuts. Unreal. All right, you are definitely... far the best out of any bowler on this list. Uh, uh, no fast bowler. One? Yeah, fast bowler. No, he's, he's got a better economy. Oh, than, better economy. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you yeah. meant just better. I was like, yeah, do you know how economy. lists work? Economy, economy. <laughs> All economy. right, lads. We've built up to this moment. It can only be one. The king, the man, Shane Warne. I almost swore. Yes. Shane Warne has to be number one. Is that, have we all Rest got that? Rest in peace. I've Rest in Scotty peace, Warne. Scotty Boland built an out statue. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Honorable mentions. Honorable one man Honorable that mentions. does have a statue outside the MCG. Yeah, he does have a statue. Uh, he took all the words from, uh, from McGrath. You can start McGrath. off with Shane Warren. How about we, we do what we did one of the other times and we just list the stat and go around the room? What? All right. Well, it's just fun. Yeah, yeah. no, you sure. can read, read, you read out some stats because I haven't even got them up. Oh, fine, I'll read the stats. <laughs> yes, I guess I'm the stat guy. <laughs> just, for, just for a couple. 708 couple. test wickets. Number one. Number one. I was there for his 700th when he did that. Just unbelievable at yeah. the G. That was just one of the best cricketing moments. Born. What was that? You would have been in No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I, oh, you would have been like 30. No, I was, <laughs> 30. <laughs> I was about four, six or seven, I reckon. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad for like a, one of your first cricket Yeah, my brother was playing Milo cricket on the ground that day. So we had front front row seats. Oh, very And nice. you literally just saw Warney just running around like 50 meters in front of us. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah oh, awesome. One of the best moments Next ever. Next up. Yep. 2.65 economy yep. in tests. That's great. That is 37 fifers. 37 fifers. That's insane. 479,332 beers consumed as well. <laughs> yeah, oh my and, God. And cans of beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you heard all the stories <laughs> about how he only ate beans and stuff? He doesn't eat anything else. He got a Heinz truck uh, delivered to England of Heinz beans because he didn't want to eat all the hotel food. Like mm. a, a full on Heinz like, delivery truck. Yeah. He was just a weird guy, but I absolutely love him. 7,498 <laughs> pairs of panties on the floor at the hotel room. <laughs> what? That was warning. That's why he that was warning. Oh, oh, my God. That, that that's was, warning for you. Oh, my God. I think you going to say him. darts. Um, <laughs> we love him. Love him. has to be number one. I think, uh, obviously, the best bowler in Australian history. I'd put him up as the best bowler ever. I put him ahead of Murali. Yeah. I know Murali has a lot. Uh, not a lot more wickets, but he has more wickets. Yeah. Because yeah, you've got yeah, Murali yeah. and then Shane Warne in, the, in terms of test wickets of all time. Yeah. But I'm putting Warney above him. What about you, lads? Yeah, I agree. I think, again, yeah. what struck we fear. About. He's the only finner that spinner. Finner. finner. <laughs> the only spinner that you struck finna fear. You finner get this? Because, like, Sorry. you were saying about how <laughs> how the, the fast bowlers would strike fear. Obviously, like, uh, Dennis mm. Lilly, Mitchell Johnson. Mm. They were so nervous trying to face Shane Warne because it would spin an absolute mile. Did so. you strike fear when you bowled? Spin? Absolutely not. No. 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 I could bowl some bounces on synthetic. Morley did take 800 wickets, test wickets. Shane Warne, 708. Legal. How many? Yeah. The, oh, and that was uh, yeah. in India. Yeah. Right? Well, on, Sri Lanka. Well, yeah. Sri Lanka. Yeah. In, he played a lot of matches in India. Subcontinent conditions. Yes, yes. Um, a lot of the time. Yep. And Shane Warne bowling on a Australian Australia. pitches. Yep. And if you have a look, yeah, yeah, Shane Warne played more matches. He played 40 more innings. But he also bowled 600 less overs than Marauder. 600 less? Okay. Mm. There you go. So if you bowled 600 more, easy. Surely Easily would have passed catch that up. Yeah. What a man. What number a legend. One. Yeah, it has to be number one. Our king. Mate, if you if you in the comments think that that's wrong, I don't know what you're doing. You haven't watched cricket your whole life. So, mm. so maybe, maybe let us know in the comments your list. So I think we had that last time we did a list. Uh, peeps, a few people put their list of their top 10 Australian bowls or top 10 yep. IPL players and things like that. We're going to do a lot more of this. Yeah, let us know what the, they want to see next. Yeah, let Sorry us know in the comments. No, sort of... that's all right. Let us know in the comments uh, what else you yeah, think we should do. What a list mm. we can do some more evergreen content like this because we absolutely love it. Before we do it, we don't love it. But uh, oh, when, we, so when we get into it, we like it because we're very nervous. But we, we had pretty, pretty similar lists. Yeah. We did pretty well there? Yeah, not all, bad. all pretty happy? All right. Yeah, I'm probably Mitchell Johnson missing out for me. Is a bit That's a joke. Stiff, yeah. And then, well, we all had one of those. I feel like I had 
Brett Lee, a bit low. I didn't have like, Craig McDermott. I probably yeah, he was probably. I didn't have Craig McDermott yeah. either. So. Anyway, I'm calling it. That's done for the Cricket Today Show. We'll be back with this next week. We're probably going to be doing it weekly. So let us know what you want to see next or anything. Can be Major League Cricket if people really want that. Yeah, if you really ever- want Major League <laughs> Cricket, like really, <laughs> you have to comment. And we're not going to do it unless we get how many likes? 100 likes on this. All right. No, no, no. no. Okay. 100 likes on this. For no, we're probably not going to do major cricket. cricket either way. But <laughs> and then if we get <laughs> 10 likes on this, we'll do another evergreen. Yep. 10 so, likes and then 100. Let us know in the comments yep. what we should do. Uh, so thank you very much to Gerald and Olivia behind the camera. Thanks, Leo. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Stats We didn't argue too much today, so we've done pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I think we're a bit more reserved today. We were. We're a bit yeah. nervous. Man, maybe we we're were. A bit were. nervous. A bit nervous. All right. Uh, that's another episode of Cricket Today Done. All right. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.